Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at Sleeping Tree Camp. Now, we are starting north, just north of Sleeping Tree Camp, because there's a little bit of an Easter egg. I don't know if you can see the coffin right here. Um, now, I'm using Atlas map markers, which kind of shows like various different locations that weren't otherwise uh, marked on the game. Um, along with other things. Um, yeah. Because there's a little bit of an Easter egg that you can find. So I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> but yeah. See, there's a little bit of a skeleton inside this mammoth, um, mammoth body. Now, Sleeping Tree Camp has a little bit of a lore implication on it. Um, and I was watching Camelworks' videos, but I'll try to reiterate what he said. Um, now, there's a lot of mystery in regards to um, the Sleeping Tree camp. And in all actuality, there is a lot of mystery behind it. Um, but, gameplay-wise, there's actually... Uh, a sap that you can get from it, which a lot, which basically increases your health, which which increases your health by I think for by 100 points for 50, uh, 45 seconds or something like that. I actually can't remember the exact number, but the lore implication is that that. During a, um, Umbra's inception and and everything, I mean, obviously you could look up Umbra and you, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, but basically, um, Umbra, once the sword was kind of taken, uh, or or and basically trapped, there there's a whole story. Uh, there's two books on the subject. Um, so basically, I'll try to reiterate it. Um, Umbriel, which was basically a combination between Umbra and a Dark Elf Wizard, uh, because um, um, two Dark Elf Wizards were captured or basically trans transported to um, Clavica's Files realm. One was imprisoned, the other made a deal with Umbra, and so they ended up creating Umbriel. Um, which was indeed a floating island. Well, they created a floating island, um, but the leader was Umbriel. Now, um, with that being said, uh, the Saxalil, uh, which were a race of Argonians, uh, basically transported the floating island to Tamriel and because they wanted to get rid of anything that wasn't an Argonian, basically use it for their vile purpose purposes and they ended up and so as it was going across you know the whole of tamriel a piece of it um ended up falling onto skyrim skyrim's landscape which is many people believe and i kind of agree with camel with this uh but again this is just my um, but basically, Camel think, seems that Camel works um, seems to think, and I seem to think that if you know anything about the history trees, this is basically relate. This tree is related to the history. It's just from another plane of existence, so to speak. Let's actually take care of this giant real quick. But yeah, um, overall, uh, I, I, uh, I kind of agree with Camel in the sense that it's similar to a history and everything. But again, that's just a theory. 
But yeah, like because it's it kind of has history properties. It's just because if you look at a history and the you know the histories you find in Argonia and actually and there's a quest in Oblivion where you can find a history. Um uh where is it? Yeah, so the sleeping tree sap. Um, this is increases health by 100 points for 45 seconds. So there you go. But there is a cave that you could find here. If you want to know um, the full backstory, um, I'm sure Camel Works wouldn't mind me posting a link to his video, but I will leave a link to his Sleeping Tree video in the description below if you're ever curious and if you want a full explanation. It's better than I can ever do, honestly. It's better than I can ever do. But yeah, um, but again, there's a quest attached to this that is kind of a hidden quest. Like I said, if you're doing it gameplay wise, then there's a hidden quest to attach to this. But if you're just looking into like the lore and everything like that, then that's totally fine. <clears throat> Don't try to st stiff me out of this deal, Ulag. I can talk to talk the Khajiit caravans into a better price than you would than, than you'd be than you'd be able to. And the guards are still looking for you after that little skooma incident. Just bring me the sap to me in White Run, like we discussed. He sold them. Don't forget this chest. There's more sleeping treats. This is sap. I'll actually take. No. I'll actually take that. All right, let's get out of here. I'll take that cheese of yours, Mammoth. Mm, delicious. I don't think Yasolda is going to be there in the marketplace at nighttime, so. All right, let us go to White Run. Uh. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. There we go. Um, okay, so where is your solda? Good man, I think. We're lucky to have you watching over us. Why are you? <sighs> Hello, friend. I found this note on Ulag's body. Did you? So Ulag didn't make it past those giants then. More's the pity. If you found any of the sap, I'd be willing to pay you the same cut I offered him. Better price than you are likely to find otherwise. How the tree came to grow there is a bit of a mystery. Some say that when Vardenfell erupted, a piece was blown to the middle of Skyrim and from the crater grew the tree. I've also heard that it was a spore that fell from an island floating in the sky, but that just sounds like nonsense. 
All I know is that the sap makes you feel as healthy as a cave troll, but slow as a drunk horker. And that it fetches good coin. So that second statement is more true than you realize. Ah, of course. How much have you got? Very good. Be sure to bring any more sleeping tree sap you find to me. Shiny trinkets. Farewell, huh? I have no idea why people are naked. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. And if you did, leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe for more content like this. I'm also doing a Let's Play with this very character. So if you wanted to check that out, I have a whole playlist that I will also leave leave linked down below, as well as Camel Works' video on the Sleeping Tree, tree, sleeping tree Sap. Um... I'm, like I said, I'm sure uh, he won't mind um, and everything, but, you know, credit credit where credit is due um, because... I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. Leave me alone. Yeah, guys, I will leave you with that, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.